Hi, I'm Andrew Potochnik and welcome to the new studios here at TimberCon in Melbourne. Hi, I'm Andrew Potochnik and I'm here to talk about this little aid. Well, <laughs> it's not little, it's big and it has got quite a few features that are going to keep you turning for years and years to come. This lathe is designed to be, perform in a different manner to other lathes. We'll talk about that in more detail later on. As with every lathe that I look at, the first things I look at are construction. This is a solid lathe. Heavy, trust me, we had to move it. It's heavy, cast iron stand, cast iron uh, headstock, cast iron tool rest, cast iron saddle. The tail stock is nice and solid as well, cast iron and the bed is nice and solid. And if you want to, there's even an extension bed that'll add another 560 millimeters to your working length. So that'll bring it up to about uh, 1350 millimeters. Because you were using this lathe to be working on some pretty solid work or heavy work, you need to look at how solid all the components are. Now if you compare this to one of our entry level lathes, the saddle's much, much heavier, much bigger. The tool rest, 300 mil long, again the one inch tool post, I'm speaking two languages here, sorry. The locking levers, also quite large and they lock really firmly. The same on the tail stock and you also get a much bigger hand wheel on this one. One of the great features of this lathe is, using this spanner, you simply loosen this knob here and you can slide the headstock down the lathe. Now why would you want to do that? Easy, if you're working on a bowl and you don't want to be leaning over the bed all the time, you can bring it down here, lock it into position and then you can work standing in front of the work. In terms of power, 1500 watt motor, it's a belt driven motor, so if you open up the headstock, you've got a two pulley system, and that'll give you a range of speeds. On one speed, one will be 100 to 1350 RPM, the other one will be 120 to 3000 RPM. So the bigger the piece you're working on, the slower you want your speeds to be. The spindle is a, a metric 30, so that's pretty standard on lathes these days. A number two Morse taper both in the spindle and also in the tailstock. And if you wind the, tool, the quill back far enough, it'll eject the centre as well. Clearance over the bed is a little over 400 millimetres, but later on I'll show you how this lathe can be converted to turn even bigger pieces outboard. So distance between centres is currently 640 mil or 25 inches, but then I can also put the extension bed on. Whoever said that size doesn't matter, no, they didn't, they weren't thinking about this lathe. 1350 between centres, that's over four feet. So this is a serious lathe. If you want to do big pieces, this will be the lathe for you. But what if you're going to be turning a variety of pieces, either small to very large? This is where this lathe comes into its own, where it does something few other lathes will do. In fact, hardly any of them. Insert this lever in here, loosen this part, pull out the locking mechanism and spin the lathe around. And there you are, you can now work outboard. And this will give you an extra 150 mil swing, taking it up to just over 710 mils. When you rotate the head, you'll notice a couple of things happen. For instance, magic. You can have your headstock turned around to about 45 degrees, so you can work on the outside. But if you do want to do that, even more so, just rotate the headstock another quarter of a turn and this way you can stand right in front of your work as you're sanding so you don't have to lean over the lathe itself. Once you've spun the headstock around, make sure you use a solid uh, face plate, attach your material to the face plate, attach the face plate to the lathe and then 
A couple of other things you'll need to take into consideration. One is this extension bed, which also goes on the other end of the lathe, can, it has to be attached. And then the saddle fitted to the bed, but you'll need to raise the tool rest. So there's an extension piece here. Just drop that into place, lock the locking lever, and put the tool rest into position, and you're ready to start working. And obviously, you'll be working on the other side of the lathe for this part. For more information on this lathe, click on the links below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Andrew Potochnik, I'll see you next time, and I'll probably have another lathe for you to look at then.